What's up legends? Oftentimes when we play Helldiver difficulty games, we of course bring with us some of the strongest and high level stratagems that can oftentimes be very game changing, but I know a lot of new Helldivers don't have access to a lot of that firepower, so today we'll be taking on the challenge of only using beginner weapons, stratagems, as well as armor set. Actually before I drop in here, let me go ahead and show you something. We'll only be using items you either unlock right away or you can purchase on the first page of the war bond, this war bond right here, which can be achieved pretty much within one to two hours of gameplay. That's the frag grenade, the infiltrator body armor and the punisher. Okay. And for stratagems, we'll be using only stratagems that you unlock at level three or below. So I'm going to be spawning here right on top of this side objective and we'll be bringing the ego air strike orbital precision strike cluster bomb and the expendable anti-tank we won't be bringing any booster and we'll be using here of course the punisher the peacemaker and the frag which can all be achieved all within one to two hours of uh starting up your helldiver adventures let's see how this is gonna go i intend on doing of course all main objectives all side objectives as well as attempting to successfully extract with a decent amount of samples so let's hope for the best here oh, all right we spawned right next to a stalker's nest so that's quite decent all right I'm gonna be calling in here the expendable anti-tank as well as the resupply because as soon as you start, pretty much the first group of bugs you kind of come across. Ooh, I thought that hurt me for a second. Uh, they're pretty much going to call for a bug breach right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and reinforce. This map is very red, isn't it? Very red. Kind of dig the aesthetics, but I know it's a little bit rough to see on the... Uh, video side of things or maybe not i don't know all right so we got the rogue station here we'll be having to land a precision strike there but let me first clear the outpost a little bit come on i know you guys are gonna call for a bug breach there's the bug breach all right so we have a lot of open space behind us so we're gonna be using that to our advantage this is a bile spewer map. Wow, that got 20 kills. Nice. Oh crap, we got four bile spewers. And they're gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass without support weapons to deal with them. At least the ego airstrikes are pretty strong against them. Oh shit, we already got a bile titan, huh? What a start. Okay, let's see if I can land that precision strike. I got the expendable anti tank, but hopefully. Let's go. I did it. All right. I get to save this expendable anti-tank a little bit more. You will never destroy our way of life. So if I'm not mistaken, you unlock the Ego Airstrike at level 2. The Orbital Precision Strike you start with. The Cluster Bomb, I believe, is level 3. And the expendable anti-tank, I think you either start with it or it's like level 2 as well. I read it, but I, I, I read it somewhere online. I was looking to see what were the lowest levels stratagems. I think it's either level 2 or level 3. Pretty much right away. One game, two games, and you pretty much level 3. And you can pretty much buy the stuff you need on the war bond pretty quickly. A, we don't have an orbital precision strike though since we used that on the bio titan so not entirely sure how i'm gonna deal with this rogue station i wonder can you I'm out. oh i never tried that before i was wondering whether that would work i know an ego airstrike can do it but sometimes it doesn't work but i'm not crazy i know it can do it i've done it a couple of times it's just really finicky Try throwing it behind it. Maybe that'll work. By the way, we have the 500 kilo bomb here because... Uh, I'm not crazy. I know it can do it. We have the 500 kilo bomb because we have the weapon experimentation 
effect where everybody has a 500 kilo bomb for free for today but i will not be using it okay i know we have it equipped but i will not be using it to be fair this isn't exactly going to be going to feel like a beginner uh playthrough because i do have these sample upgrades okay you can't turn them off as far as i'm aware if you could i would have the precision strike should do that so do take in mind that i do have a slight bit of an advantage there such as 10 percent cooldown reduction on the expendable anti-tanks have some eagle upgrades which is gonna make my eagle airstrike cool down a bit faster so you know we have a little bit of an advantage but still the challenge is set and we will take this on okay since we have a extra expendable here might as well use this one Buster bombs are going to be pretty good against the bile spewers as well. Yeah. Does quite some good work against them. That's rough. Takes like six shots to kill them. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know the, the Punisher you could have achieved pretty much level one i thought the punisher was a higher level weapon i was a bit surprised when i found out that uh you actually get it on the very first page actually quite good if you're low level i recommend it peacemaker is also pretty good the only uh, disadvantage, though, is that the Redeemer is a lot better at dealing with Hunters. Is that what I think it is? There's nice, okay. Here. So we get a guaranteed Battle Titan kill here, if we want. But yeah, the Redeemer is better at dealing with Hunters, but I actually kind of dig the Peacemaker. I like semi-automatic weapons. It's a shame most of them kind of suck in this game. <laughs> Other than the shotguns, of course. Nothing here. Oh, all right. We got the Shrieker's Nest. Deploying support weapon. Gonna be... Oh! I actually did not know it took more than one shot. How many shots does it take? I figured I was gonna... Okay, two shots each. I thought it was one shot each, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take those Shrieker's Nest from afar. Or else they're gonna be giving me a lot of trouble. We'll see if... Uh, we can pull it off or not. Oh boy. be calling in here for the eagle rearm i'm gonna have to be paying attention to that all game long because since the game gave us the free 500 kilo it's not gonna rearm on its own unless i use the 500 kilos which i won't so i'm gonna be having to do that manually the whole game so that's ow gonna be a bit of a handicap Also be looking for a support weapon for us to use as a low level, especially when, of course, when you're not using, when you're not bringing in a support weapon, you'll kind of want to find one around the world. So hopefully we'll find something. Okay, so we have that hell pod here on the floor, which we'll use, we'll use to deal with the bio titan here. 
These are free Bile Titan kills. That's what you should see these as. These are really good. Bam. Down goes the Titan. Alright, let's see if this little house has got some uh, support weapon for us. Because I know it's got like a locked door in here, so hopefully it'll have something for me. I never know. Do these barrels... Nope, they don't open them. Oh, I was just going to throw a grenade, but I don't have a grenade. I actually wasn't sure whether those barrels would blow it open or not. Shame on me. My mistake. All right, let's take out another Shrieker nest here then. I do want to open that door though before I leave. I do want to open that door because if it's got a good support weapon in there, we could really use that. Going cool down. Just waiting for the resupply here. We got a bug nest in there. Don't want to mess with that. So this is one of the toughest missions, in my opinion, to do solo. Evacuating all the citizens is quite a pain in the ass. Because at the end, there's usually like lots of like swarms of bugs and you have to protect all the little citizens. It's quite tough. I think I might uh, find it to be the hardest mission out of all of the bug ones. Are there any Punisher mains out there? If so, why do you opt in for this weapon over, like, the Slugger? It's a genuine question. I'm not, like, being a dick. I'm actually curious. The Slugger offers, like, concentrated fire. Right? Since it's a Slug and not pellet spread. And they pretty much have the same amount of stagger. Alright, that's all the nests. I don't really see much of a reason to opt in for the Punisher over the Slugger. Also, the Sluggers can just like shoot right through the uh, the Hive Guards as well. Any Punisher mains out there, do let me know what makes you enjoy this weapon so much. It's like, it's not bad, but I feel like there are better choices for sure. Grab a supply here. Did we ever open? No, we didn't. Oh. Got another little group. Hopefully we can get rid of them with, before they call for reinforcements. Oh god. Aim! Aim, Takibo! No! Goodness. That would have been embarrassing. All right, let's see what we got. Eh, at least we got medals. All right, let's get the hell out of dodge. And like a good five plus minutes there. We got two, three side objectives done. So we got one to two more to go. I see there is a bug nest there, so I want to avoid that. Also, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Quick tip is usually side objectives, they're next to each other. Usually they're posi I've noticed that they're positioned really close to each other. So if the map is obscured like this one, then uh, chances are the side objectives are going to be pretty close to each other. So you can reliably trust that. We got here a CF artillery. That's pretty good. Hopefully we're going to get some good missiles here for us to use. 
go ahead and call the expendable anti-tank because I'm sure there's going to be a group here eventually. I don't want that smoke. Nothing here. Napalm. Your ones are either the high yield explosives or the uh, the uh, mini nukes. Mini nukes are yellow. The black ones are smoke. The blue ones are static fields. Flat headed one, red ones are napalm. The pointy red ones are explosives. Just interesting to know. Okay. That almost killed me. <laughs> Consistently underestimate how wide the... Oh my god. How wide the cluster bomb AOE actually is. Alright, let me fall back here. Gonna get ugly. Oh, got a bile titan. Is that... Oh! Let's go, we got a support weapon. Oh no, my mistake. Took too long to shoot it. I pulled it out because I wanted to bring in the railgun. So I tried to land there on his face to weaken down his face a little bit. For me to be able to one shot him. Let's see if that did it. But I think I hit like his neck. Oh my god, I shot his leg. Give me that railgun. Okay. Oh, we got a hell pod here as well. We can use that. Woo! Okay, we won't need to use that. Nice. Two for two, I think. Maybe I'll just shoot that hell pod. All right, let's go back to finishing up this artillery. Put the railgun on unsafe because that's the only the only way it's going to be useful nowadays. I will tell you guys the truth. I don't think I have used the railgun at all since the nerf. I used it once and I just figured like I, I would try out other things instead of trying to get used to it again. It's still pretty good from what I tested, but I do think there are better choices now. I do think the nerf was a bit too strong, but hey. I feel like I say that every video. <laughs> Got a guy creeping up here. Let's get rid of you so you don't call for reinforcements. I even have all five no I only have four missiles here you can go ahead and load them up thought I had all five ready to go I've been recommended before by one of you guys that you shouldn't toggle the terminal before you have all missiles prepared because apparently it kind of aggros the uh the bugs the enemies I personally did not know that and as you can see it seems to be true all coming over so, quick tip, only turn on the CF artillery terminal when you have all missiles ready. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this off and get the hell out of here. Oh, rid of you guys first. I forgot I have the railgun. Ah, oh, god dang it. Oh, there was a mini nuke there. Aww. Wish I had seen it before. On its way. Another Bile Titan. Two Bile Titans. Oh, god. I'm just going to weaken down his face a little bit. Hopefully he will be one shot. Did that do it? Nope. 
Oh, oh, I almost took too long again. I almost did the same exact mistake. Oh god. Come on, Helldiver. If we can get another one with that. Oh, now I wish I hadn't shot that hell pod. Let's go. That's one down. Always save the hell pods for bio titans, guys. Don't make the same mistake I just did. You never know if they're just gonna spawn out of nowhere. Unless you're playing lower difficulties, of course. If you're playing lower difficulties where there isn't. Let's go. Why was he? One oh, he was the guy that I hit with the uh, expendable anti tank, wasn't it? All right. Ugh. Get out of here. Oh, the other way. Okay, that's four side objectives. We haven't even gotten to the first primary objective and we only got 20 minutes to go. We've wasted half the mission already. We gotta hurry up a little bit. We wanna do everything. These are pretty fast though. And do these really quick. just a very final part that takes a long time but these little ones are very fast and it's done we can already get out of here i heard a sample back here no we want all that loot oh shit please don't call for reinforcements we're good yeah we're good Got a patrol incoming, but we'll pick up this sample and we'll be out of here in no time. One more side objective to go. Two main objectives to go. Oh, super rare samples here. All right, that's convenient. I feel like I get way more super samples than I even need though. I think I have like 50 stored away and I haven't even finished all the uh, ship modules. <laughs> Still need to do all the sentry ones. I'm gonna get up real close before taking them out. But, uh, they don't call for a bug breach. And here, surely we're gonna face a bug breach, so let me go ahead and call in resupply and the boy anti tank. Rather, we go. There's a group. Have a taste of democracy. That was uh, pretty scary, pretty close to me. If I can bait him into that again. Come on, come on, come on. Four, three, four, three, let's go. I've been landing them good today. That was solid. That's gonna give me. That's gonna help me a lot, dude. It's gonna buy me a lot of time here. We got rid of that breach really fast. To be able to get out of here before that patrol even reaches us. Go, go, go. We're gone. We are gone. See you.
So this armor set that we're using here at level one is just slightly worse than the scout armor set. It's a little bit slower. It's got a little bit more armor rating, but let's be real. Armor rating really doesn't matter that much in this game. I think it's a bit... I think they should even kind of touch up on it because it really doesn't do too much. I mean, I feel like there's nothing they can do about it for bugs. It's never... I don't think it'll ever be a good idea to use anything other than light armor, at least for me as a solo player. Because you're... If you're even getting hit in the first place, then you're probably already dead. And with light armor, we can do shit like this. <laughs> you know, play kind of stealthy when we have to. But yeah, speed is key against bugs. But I did... Oh. Okay, we gotta... I think I'm gonna want to deal with that first. Find out where the uh, stalker layer is. How many hits does it take nowadays? You need to charge it like a lot, don't you? I should probably be charging these a little bit more. Let me try. Okay. Alright. It's not too bad. I think the art throw is still better though, because while you're shooting down the charger, you're also kind of killing little guys yeah, around okay. them. But I guess you could argue that the uh, railgun act can actually stagger the. Uh, I don't want that. Can actually stagger the charger, so maybe some people will prefer that. How'd you like the taste of freedom? But yeah, as I was saying, I thought the uh, armor rating was going to make a huge impact against like automatons, but I just don't think it didn't turn out to be as strong as I thought it would have been. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the armor rating is like in a good place? Like my genuine, oh, we got a help out here. My genuine opinion is that I think they should resist damage a little bit more. I don't know if you guys have seen those video comparisons of armor rating one next to each other they're actually pretty underwhelming like high armor rating really doesn't reduce damage that much for for it to be worth being that slow i think for light armor the speed advantage is gonna offset the benefits of uh Having a high armor rating anyways. I gotta get rid of them quick. Yep, before they do that, okay. So the next bug I see will pretty much call for reinforcement, so... I wanna see if I can get in the high on the high ground first before they call for reinforcement, which is why I'm sneaking here. Let me see if I can kill them before they call for reinforcement. Okay, we're good. Let me see if I can get up here before they call for it. There's a way up here. Yep. Okay, let's get up here and they're going to go and they're going to call for a bug breach right about now. One of these will call for it. There he is. Gotta stop him temporarily. Here comes the bug breach. Oh Christ. That's called democracy! We can down this. Oh shit, that almost killed me. We can down this bug breach as much as I can before I gotta get out of dodge. Okay, let's get out a little bit. Force him to come to me. 
But I can't stop killing them. If I stop killing them, we might end up finding ourselves stuck in a infinite reinforcement loop. That orbital can land on the charger. Oh, that was horrible. Why are they going all the way around? I'm a bit worried that we're killing these a little bit too slow. Come on, look at me. Oh no, I'm out of bullets. Oh no, I'm dead. Damn it. Didn't realize I was so low on ammo. Oh no, infinite walls, or invisible walls rather. Couldn't make my way back to my body. That's... That's a bummer. all the way back there now oh crap we got a patrol group already Have a taste of democracy. I gotta group them up and kill them fast or else we're gonna get stuck here in this loop that we're already in get rid of you where's the other charger there you are oh excuse you and okay, now we gotta get rid of this patrol group. Oh, shit. You will never destroy our way of life. Up our loot. Let's try to make our way back. Crap, we got another patrol group. This is not looking too good. So many of them. Yeah. Patrol group here. Another patrol group that's already entering the primary objective. And the bug breach. Shit. Okay, I gotta group them up. Let me make them all come up here. I keep them split. I'm never gonna be able to get rid of their forces fast enough. I'm a bait them all here oh no not looking very good boys no invisible walls I couldn't go into that charger <laughs> I wonder why there's such a hard invisible wall there probably to prevent people from going on top of that tower huh Shit, man. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in serious trouble. You get back up there? I gotta group them up. Okay, it doesn't seem to be that many of them left. Go, 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 go. I can't reach the other one. Hey, these are pretty hurt. Come on, bleed out. There we go. Good boy. This is it. Gotta get rid of them now, and then we'll be good. Before they call for a reinforcement. Railgun for the hive guards. Shotgun for the little guys. 
Damn, y'all don't stop coming. Let's go. Are we good? Crap. Got a patrol group coming in. Get rid of them. This is crazy. I'm like stuck in an infinite loop. Not really, but feels like it. I'm like nervous as hell. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. So every time you open one of these, uh, you let go of three citizens. So assuming they all live, you got to do this 10 times back and forth. As a solo player, this is pain in the butt. So let's try to escort as many people as I can before we get another group in. God damn it, we got a group already. That one's trying to kill the citizens. Oh shit, please don't kill anybody. Yeah, I don't think it did. Come on, please don't call for re- Fuck, they called for reinforcements. Okay. Gotta pull this, uh, reinforcement fast. I want a shot at this. Oh no! He did like a little, little jump. It made me miss his face. Let me see if I can stop him on top of the orbital. Four for four. Let's go! Where's that five for five? I don't even know anymore. Got another patrol group to my left here. Jesus. You will never destroy a oh no. Yeah, I thought I was stuck there. Is that a dude? There is another patrol group coming in. This is bad. Look at that. I gotta go right in the middle of them because I gotta kill them fast, dude. Can't waste any time. Come on. And we got a charger chilling. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You good? How many shots does it take to the leg nowadays? Two still? Good. Get out of here. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Called for two. We need eight more. Oh, I, I did not even realize I killed the uh, entire group down here. Call the anti tank up there in case we get. Okay. In case we get more enemies coming. So we go now. We gotta go uh, back and forth, back and forth until we get another threat. But we got two minutes and thirty left. God damn, I'm so nervous. I don't know if this is gonna be really freaking close if I pull this off. Took a little bit too long. I remember we had twenty minutes left before we even got to the first objective. That's because we were pretty busy doing the side objectives there. Fourteen more to go. Sixteen more to go, rather. Fifteen. Come on. I don't see any patrol groups anywhere. I'm like a little bit nervous. Like I'm, I'm wondering if patrol groups just kind of spawn out of nowhere. We're in the red, boys. We're in the red. Come on, come on. He knew you'd come. He knew you'd come. That's going to be 24 with this 27. Oh, let's go. Oh, no, there's a group coming. Go, 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 go. Just 
This loadout's been pretty solid so far. Don't have too much to complain about it. Oh my god, I gotta defend them. Gotta give my life for them here. Oh, please make it. Please make it in there. Come on. Let's go. We did it. We freaking did it. We actually freaking did it. Let's go. 40 seconds left. <laughs> Woo. All right. Um, might as well try to get everything. Go for it all, boys. Gotta risk it. Gotta risk it for democracy. Let's try to make our way back to our sample somehow. Let's take the long way around. Got 20 seconds. Oh, fuck. I mistyped. 20 seconds to get back to the samples and then run all the way. It's gonna be quite a stretch. See if we can get this resupply by any chance. Really, really use some syringes. Will help us with the uh, sprint back. Go, so let's go, let's get out of here. Can I access my uh, samples here? Or is it overwhelmed? Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Where is it at? Go. Oh shit. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it all? Can we save these citizens and save ourselves? Oh man. So yeah, this loadout hasn't been too bad. It's just been a little bit inferior pretty much in every sense. Like the armor set is a little bit slower than the scout armor set. The Bio Titan dealing options is a little bit weaker than the ones we usually get. And the weapons are also a little bit worse than the ones we usually have. But yeah, if this serves as anything as uh, proof that the starting loadout is not going to be... Not going to be your worst enemy. Just got to use it properly and you should be good to go. Taking it slow here, making it back to the extraction zone just so we don't bait anybody into it. But I think we're good, guys. Let's go. Let's go, dude. All right. That was the starter loadout. Stratagems, all level 3 or below, only War Bond page 1, which only takes about an hour or two to really get. That's another challenge down. Whew. That ending was nerve-wracking, dude. I did not think I was going to pull it off there. 40 seconds left. Damn, if I wasted just with one more patrol group. Just one more patrol group and that would have been a waste. Of 40 minutes and I would have had to re-attempt it all again. Oh, that's a big weight off my shoulders. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. Second mission in the row, by the way. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys have any other challenges do let me know in the comment section below or any videos that you would like to see in general i'm always open to hear see what you guys would like to see and what you wouldn't let's see here just how many kills we got and we'll call it off here we've pulled off that felt like 600 plus kills oh 529 a little bit less than i thought but yeah thank you guys for watching I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Peace.